Pedro from EMP Reacts. I'm here today with Patrick from Bloodbound to talk about Creatures of the Dark Realm out on AFM Records. How's it going? Yeah, it's all good. I'm just get better from this COVID-19 flu, which I was positive. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Yeah, but I'm a lot better now, so it's cool. Well, I'm wishing you a speedy recovery. Thank you very much. Uh, looking at this album and looking at how you got to this record, how is the creative process for for the band? How do you guys tackle this album? It's like we always have. We have worked on ideas on our separate uh, on our separate sides, <laughs> uh, and then we just send each other the ideas and start working on songs that we all you know like and uh, it's been the same process on the latest albums so no different we live quite far from each other so uh, this process with sending files it's not because of covid19 it's just how we have done it before so it's just geography what it's just the geography. You guys are, are, are far apart. From yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, and it has worked before and it worked now. And so the process was like, like that once again. Uh, what do you see about this record that really sets it apart from the previous seven albums or eight albums? Uh, I don't know. I think we have a little bit of different sound on this, even though we still kept what sounds like Bloodbound and what have sounded like Bloodbound for at least the last three records. But just with some new, uh, I don't like the word modern, <laughs> but maybe it's a little bit bit more modern in the, in the sound, I guess. Um, we still have the same formula. Uh, the same basics are there. Maybe compared to the last album, it's little more of the guitars again. Little, the keyboards are still very, very present, but a little bit more of the guitars and more guitar riffs. Mm -hmm. So I would say, that was very intentional uh, because last album we said, okay, maybe there was too much keyboards on this. So we wanted to, you know, put the guitars in the front again. And um, then we get, I think it's a little bit uh, heavier because of that. It sounds a little bit heavier. Yeah. Yeah. It, it gives the album a little bit more strength, a little bit more power, if you will. Yeah, for sure. Now, you said that you guys have a pattern, you guys have a way of doing things as far as the creative process, as far as coming into the record, nothing has really changed that much. So having said that, was there any challenges with this album that were a little bit perhaps outside the box that, that made things slightly more difficult here and there? No, I don't think so. It just kept writing, kept sending each other's files and... Uh, then we had 12 songs and it was like, okay, let's record this. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get it done. Yeah. And it, it just sounds how it sounds. It was, you know, what the material we had at the moment. And we felt it, we had strong material. So uh, the, the, having no ballads, <coughs> sorry, having no ballads on the record, th does that change the approach as far as putting the structure of the album together in terms of the order? in which the songs are going? Because it feels like it's more continuous. There's not like a real break within the record. Yeah, maybe because you always think about the dynamics of an album. Uh, so this is not the first album we don't have a ballad on. We had one on the last album. Uh, I had one uh, that I wrote, but this time we didn't have I think a ballad needs to have something really special to be a good ballad. And this time we just felt like going with full power 
do a power metal album with no uh, thoughts. I, I define the sound on this record as different shades of power metal. Like I, I felt like navigating through this record, you really get a glimpse of all the different uh, styles and approaches that you can get within the power metal genre. Do you see the album being that same way or, or would you define the soundscape of this record differently? Oh, uh, I think we always try to to do something different. Uh, especially me, when I, I have wrote a lot of the songs uh, this time. And I never try to, to do a song that, okay, I'm going to do a song that sounds like that or that or that. But you're always like inspired, even if you don't know it or not, uh, by songs you like and bands you like and stuff like that. So you can, after a while, you can say, oh, that sounds like that or that sounds like that. But uh, we just try to write as good songs as possible. Uh, without thinking we don't try to you know reinvent reinvent the wheel or anything we just try to write as good songs as possible what works for you guys huh yeah exactly what works for you guys you you guys yeah go, yeah, yeah you go a little bit with the feel yeah you you mentioned the keyboards and that's something that i want to touch on because I, I thought that was one of the strengths of the album was that the keyboards were not necessarily in your face the whole time and you mentioned earlier that you don't like the word modern uh, uh when you're when you're labeling if you will the music uh, i i always feel like the when, when you have a record where the keyboards jump too much into the forefront it does have that more modern power metal approach i'm more of a classic kind of guy so i don't mind the keyboards there but i don't want necessarily the keyboards to drive the experience uh, is that how you see it as well is that, is that your preference yeah in a way i guess uh and uh, we just wanted to you know put the keyboards in the front when it's necessary, not the whole time. Mm -hmm. So with that, you also get more dynamics. And I think in the end, you get a more varied album. Uh, yeah. Is this a record that you feel like the guitars are taking the lead as far as the one element that's pushing the album from song to song that's giving movement to the record? Yeah, I would say say it like that overall. Even though, as I said, the keyboards are still there and very have a lot of presence, but not as much maybe as like on the uh, previous two albums. Where do you see your vocals coming in? What 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 do you see the element that they bring to the forefront in that mix of of giving movement to the record? Uh, the vocals are. We always, always think, all of us think that the vocals are the most important. Uh, that's what people really listen to. You know, the lyrics, the, the vocal melodies and everything. So that's our main focus when we write songs. Do, do you have a, a game plan coming into the record? I know you said that as far as the creative aspect, you guys already know pretty much what everybody's role is. Everybody understands exactly what needs to be done, but every album is a different album. Every album has its own different, unique nature to it. So do, do you start to put together a game plan when it comes to your vocals and how you want them to be on a specific record? Not especially like that, but always when we write songs, we, we almost we can start to do a song from a guitar riff or any, something, but mostly we have the vocals in focus. Uh, when we have a good vocal line for the chorus, there, then we know we have a good song. So uh, I always do like demos and stuff like that when I uh, write songs. And then I have a, like a plan to how to sing and uh, before I start to, you know, really record it. So, yeah, in a way. Was there a track on this record that was a little bit more problematic that gave you some some gray hairs? Uh, not really, actually. Uh, 
No. Is, is that normal? Or, or in the past, you there's been always like this Achilles heel, if you will. But I, the guys know my voice. Even if they write songs, they know my range and where I sound uh, like best. So th they have that in mind when they use it, when they uh, write the songs in which key the song gonna be and stuff like that. I, I thought that was also an interesting aspect since you're mentioning it, because listening to the album, I really felt like the songs, I, I wasn't sure what was what came first. It's like the chicken and the egg. I, I don't know if it was your voice or the songs, but I felt like the two kind of lived one off of the other. The, the songs were really created perfectly to get the to get the most amount of juice out of your vocal orange. Yeah, as I said, we always write songs with the vocals in mind. So I guess that's the result of that. <laughs> uh, I have one last question for you about this record. It's perhaps a little bit more about you than about the record. I, I, I feel listening to music, you you when you go from an album to an album as a listener, you you, you tend to learn something new about the band from record to record because it's it's a different picture in time of where the band is. Now, as you look at this album, is there something that you take from this record that you learn about yourself that you didn't know beforehand and this album really allowed you to have that new experience? Yeah, you always learn things when you do albums and you always evolve for every time. Uh, I can't just pick out that and that. It's like a, uh, all in all, like, yeah, you evolve all the time and you always try to push yourself as much as you can, uh, both with the like, for me, the singing and uh, yeah, you just try to be better and better all the time. We're still chasing, ch chasing that uh, 10 out of 10 album that we think for ourselves. Uh, but uh, in a way, you don't want to reach that because <laughs> what should you do after that? I was, uh, I was just going to say, if you reach that album, then what do you do? Like, then there's there, you, you, you can't get any better. Yeah, but I think it's a good thing to just uh, yeah chase that. Come as close as possible without reaching it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Patrick, <laughs> thank you very much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you get well soon. I, I hope everything gets cleared up for you. So best wishes for you. Best wishes for the band Greek Record, uh, Bloodbound, Creatures of the Dark Realm out on AFM Records. Once again, thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. Take care. Take care. Bye.